Hello everybody, this is Mushroom Status, and today I'm going to be giving you a kind of a multi-tutorial. Um, this is going to be for mobs that use some kind of luck based thing if you're tired of mobs just trying to kill you all the time or your players and you and you want you want some sort of wild card in there. Well, I'm going to show you how to do that. Now this, um, this tutorial is going to require a few different plugins. It's going to require Boss Skin, or it's updated version Skinner if you're using 1.13, Libs Disguises, and Mythic Mobs itself. Now we're going to go ahead and go through each of the following plugins. Now I already got all my files opened, so I'm going to go ahead and let you take the time to open all your files if need be. Uh, if so, just pause the video right now, because you're, all you're going to need is your disguises file, your boss skin config file, um, you're going to need a mob file for your mob itself, uh, a skin file for it, and an item file for it, all specifically for your mob. So I'll go ahead and let you do that, and we will jump right back into it when you are ready. Okay, so by now you have all your stuff ready to go, you have all your files open. We're going to start off with the technicalities first. So what we have going on here is, um, actually let me explain a little bit. I just, I was making desert based mobs and I figured, you know, I kind of want my mob to be desert themed. So the most important thing you have to know, what kind of mob do you want it to be? I thought uh, something golden would be good because it would fit the desert theme really well. So I decided to go with an inside joke of mine. Um, between myself and a couple of friends and go with this mob we call, I call, Budapig. As you can see, it's just a golden, golden pig. This is going to be the base mob right here. Um, what you're going to want to do, find yourself a skin. I went ahead and went with this one because, like I said, inside joke, we called it instead of Budapest, you know, the rich place, it's Budapig. Comes from the rich place, you know, haha, <laughs> funny, funny. Um, so. Um, it came with green eyes and an emerald and green earrings, but I went ahead and just made it kind of a solid, like, kind of look like hollowed out gold. Um, you're gonna need something like this for your base mob. Then after that, you're gonna need other variants of it, depending on whatever. You can use as many as you want, different colors, whatever. I decided I'm gonna want a green variant for when players are blessed, and a red variant for when they are cursed. Once you have your um, your skins designed or picked out, um, next you're going to want to go ahead and open up Mind Skin. This is like every Mythic Mob creator's best friend, mindskin.org. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take your neutral version of your mob and upload it. I'm going to go ahead and call it Buddha Pig. N for neutral. I'm going to go ahead and click generate. Skin generated. And you're going to get three different things here. Your texture value, your texture signature, and your texture URL. You're not going to need this one because Mythic Mobs does not use URL. However, um, it does use value and Libs Disguises uses value and signature. So let's go ahead and open up Libs Disguises config or disguises.yml. Down here, you're not going to have this, but I went ahead and made a line of code that I can just copy and paste. Um, I'm going to put it in the description below for you guys so that way you can copy and paste your own, um, you know, your own little code for it and just have a replica there if need be. Now what it's going to be, you're going to have your mob name here. This is going to be, well, the name of your mob. This is not your display name, do know that. This is your internal mob name. So it's going to be Buddha Pig for me. And right here, th this is going to be the display name. It's saying what kind of model it's going to use, which is the player model, and then mob name, and then it's going to set the skin to whatever we have. So I want it to be gold and bold. Yeah. So I'm going to do N6 and L, Buddha Pig put it in quotation marks just so that way we can have this formatting. I think you can do it without the quotation marks, but I like to add them just to be safe. Next, we're going to have these little tags inside of greater than and less than values. 
Um, first one's gonna be your si uh, skin signature. It's gonna be right here, so go ahead and click on that uh, clipboard. And just go ahead and paste it on in there. And then when you scroll to the end, you're gonna have one more, which is your texture value. Go ahead and click on the other uh, clipboard up top there under texture value. Go back to your config, paste it in, and that is all you need to do. You are now good to go. So don't close it out just in case you have some errors, um, unless you're using an online version in which it says, you know, save and finish editing. In which case it's fine. Um, it should work right away, but just, you know, it's always safe to double check. I'm using mine offline, so I don't have to worry about it. Next is your boss skin or skinner plugin. Now they should all look like this in the config minus, you know, Diablo. They, that's another project I'll show you in another, in a later video. However, for now, all you're going to have to do is put a dash and then your mob name, internal mob name, not display name. And for me, Budapig. So save, done. Next, you have the mob himself, Buddha Pig. So this is going to be pretty important here. Um, I recommend making it be a husk because they don't burn in the daylight, which is very, very important. Depending on you know if you want him to be nighttime, daytime, or even both kind of mob. For me, I want him to last in any time of day as long as there's a player nearby. So I'm going to make him a husk. Display. You're not even going to have to add one because Libs Disguises is going to take over. Um, health. Make sure to give him a big chunk of health there just in case something goes wrong. You definitely don't want players to, you know, attack him or something else to attack him and hurt him and kill him. So next, um, damage. Go ahead and set that down to zero just in case, again, if something doesn't go right, he doesn't do a lot of damage to your players. Next are the options. There's going to be four options you're going to want to have. First is no AI. This will prevent him from going anywhere, looking any direction or anything whatsoever. Now if you wanted an alternative to this, say it was going to be like some sort of golem, like stone golem where his eyes turn green or red or whatever, you could set um, like movement speed to 0 0.01, which is so slow that it just basically disables it overall. Um, but since I'm just using a husk, I am not worried about movement speed because I am just going to set no AI to true. Next, prevent item pickup. Since he is a zombie type mob, he will pick up armor, uh, items, anything thrown at him. Just in case your player dies, it's very important to set this to false. Um, prevent other equipment. Uh, oh boy, if I can spell here. Also very important to set to false because you don't want him wearing random chest plate, boots, or pants. You're not gonna have to worry about the head because, well, it's gonna get replaced with the other variants depending on how he reacts to players. So the last one is invincible. This is very important because you don't want players to kill him. He's going to be your wild card. Um, I totally forgot to set these to true. I don't know why I set them to false. They should all be set to true. So with that, he cannot be hurt. Um, and here's another thing just to ensure he can't be hurt. And then these two to make sure he doesn't steal from players. Um, wait, I just realized. Sorry, that's supposed to be random equipment. Prevent random equipment. There we go. Okay, um, oh, and one more, actually. Silent. You don't want him moaning and groaning because my mob specifically is supposed to be like a totem, so, you know, he's not supposed to be making noises. Now we can get on to the actual skills. We're gonna start off with stance. If you don't know about stances, please go ahead and watch my other tutorial on that. I will leave a link to that in the description as well. Um, but, so we're gonna go ahead and start off with set stance. And we're going to go ahead and call this one neutral. Um, we're going to want to make sure he does this on spawn. This will prevent any issues from coming up with players double clicking. And I will explain that in a moment once we get there. Next, random skill. Skills. Now this part's cool. You can have as many as you want. 
You do not have to stop where we're going to stop. You can keep going and going and going. Your imagination is your only limit. So, we're just going to go ahead and do one of each. Blessing and comma curse. At self. Uninteract. Okay. So that's actually going to do it as far as uh, he goes. So to break it down. Um, it's a husk so he doesn't burn up. Can't be touched. Can't pick up items. Can't spawn with other items. And he will not make noise. Um, he will set him his stance to neutral upon spawning, and he will activate one of these two skills, or however many you decide to put in there, upon being interacted. So that's go. Um, that's done. So go ahead and save, and we're gonna go ahead and move on to his items actually. So here you're gonna need the two alternate versions of the head. So you're gonna go ahead and go to Mind Skin, select new file and do your alternate versions. So, Buddha Pig H for happy. And there it is. Texture value is the one you're gonna want. Uh, go ahead and copy this down. You're gonna need this. Um, here we go, Buddha Pig happy for his first variant. You don't need a display name for it because it's not gonna show, excuse me, it's not gonna show anyway. Um, ID 397 is what skull ID is, data 3 makes it a player head, and you're going to want to go to options, double space, skin texture below that, space, add that space because if it's right in front of it, it will not work, space, and just go and paste in that value. Now we're going to go ahead and do that again for the other one. Buddha pig angry, I'm going to go ahead and call it Buddha pig 8, uh, A. You don't have to actually name it if you don't want to, but for whatever reason, sometimes I get this uh, thing saying like authentication failed or something if I don't name it. I just found that it just works better this way. Um, so we're going to copy the texture value again, paste, and Buddha pig angry. Okay, so that'll do it for the item, so we're going to go ahead and save that there. Now all that's left are the skills. You can see I've already got something kind of set up here. Um, all this is are visual effects, so you can go ahead and copy this into your own if you would like. I'm not gonna go and I'm not gonna do them one by one. So if you need to take a moment to copy all this down because you just like the way it looks, please by all means do so. So we're gonna go ahead and do blessing here and conditions. This is gonna be important. We're gonna make sure. His condition is going to have to be his stance, and his stance is going to have to be set to neutral. We're going to go ahead and set that to true. So that means this will only ever activate upon him being in neutral stance, which he does whenever he spawns. The reason for this is because we're going to actually change his stance when he activates the ability. So stance equals uh, we're just gonna go and put blessed at self so that means once he changes his stance here he can no longer use this ability again because in order to use this ability he has to be in neutral stance if this ability activates he will no longer be in neutral stance now we're gonna go um, add another mechanic equip here we're gonna go ahead and type an item Buddha pig happy colon four um, make sure you put at self so he targets himself and not uh, the player who activated him this is going to put on the item head that we just created and four is the head slot um, if you are familiar with the mythic mobs manual go ahead you you know you can find these in equipment um, Zero is main hand, one I believe is boots, then pants, then chest plate, then head at four, and then five is offhand. Um, the more you know. So that's all you're going to need. And then um, underneath the sound effect that I added, this is where you're going to want to add your benefit if he likes you, if you are blessed. Um, you can make it be like, maybe you want to heal your players, or maybe you want to give them defenses like uh, regeneration in um, I don't know 
damage resistance, or maybe you just want to flat out play pay your players. You can add anything you want here. Like I said, your imagination is the only limit. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to leave it as is. So next we're going to go ahead and just copy the condition. Uh, we're going to add the other one under curse, which should match up. Blessing, curse, yep, okay. Uh, still make sure you set to neutral. Uh, we're going to copy a set stance from up here, but we're going to call it cursed. And then we're going to copy the equip command, and we are going to make sure this is the angry one, because this is the curse. He is not going to be all green and happy if he is cursing you. So this should actually do it for your mob. This should be every little thing. Let's go ahead and go through it again. You got your disguise. Your boss skin or skinner config setup. Make sure it's all saved. Your mob himself. Your skills that he will activate. Like I said, you can have as many as you want right here. It's entirely up to you. Just make sure you're using commas because colons and semicolons will break it. It has to be comma. Um, yeah, again, skills, as many as you want, and then your items, which are the two variants. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and go back into the game and reload every plugin here. So, we're going to do BS reload for boss skin, libs disguises reload for disguises, and then mythic mobs reload for everything else. So we're going to go ahead and spawn him in now. Spawn Buddha Pig. As you can see, the Libs Disguise is kicked in there, and here is the solid version of the mob. And I cannot hurt him, which is good. That will prevent anything from happening to him from, uh, from players or mobs. Now let's go ahead and right click him and see what he does. Look at that, he likes us. Isn't that awesome? So let's go ahead and spawn him again, and we will see. And look at that, see there's the curse, and as you saw it was entirely random, I didn't, there was no determining factor as to whether or not it worked. Now, just to prove to you about the stance ability, I just clicked him like five times there, but as you can see only one thing happened. That's the importance of the stances. So if you like this video everybody, please go ahead and subscribe as I will be making a lot more tutorials both simple and complicated in the future. If there's any kind of mechanic or idea you would like to see be done or explained better, please leave a message uh, in the comments below or message me on Discord. I will have my tag in the description as well. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope I can inspire you even more in the future.